Hey guys and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today we're going to talk about ghosting and how to get rid of it. Now ghosting, I've, I've noticed myself that ghosting is something that happens a lot with, with, with capture devices such as you know a, a capture card or a PVR or something like that. And ghosting can be very very annoying to have in your videos. Now how do you notice ghosting uh, and what is it? I, I can I can I, I did some research on it myself to figure out how to explain it, but it's actually very detailed. It's something about refresh rates and uh, something about when you record, let's say, in 30 frames per second. Each of those frames actually consists of two images layered on top of each other, and what happens when one of these images are slightly ahead or behind the other image? causes ghosting. That's at least from what I understood. If I'm mistaken and if I'm wrong on that one, please let me know in the comments, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you what ghosting is right here. I don't have any game footage to show you where it's in, but I did have a 3 3D render where I saw it in. So uh, I'm going to show you. Normally when we edit our videos in Vegas, at least for me, because I use Fraps, uh, DxTory or Bandicam where I record in the really, really big file sizes. I have to have my preview win window set to preview half. So I normally wouldn't notice the ghosting before after I'm done rendering the video out and I have a look at the video and I'm like, oh shit, there's ghosting in this stuff. I've only had it happen to me a couple of times before, but I wanted to show you guys what it is and how you get rid of it. Now I'm in preview half as I normally am. Now I'm going to hold down control, alt and shift and use my mouse wheel to scroll through each frame here. And as you can see, it, that looks fine, right? That looks fine. I mean, it looks a little pixelated because it's in preview half, but it, other than that, it, it, it looks fine. Now let's try to change it into best full. The reason we're not in best full, by the way, is, is because of the big file sizes and it, it'll, it'll make it look laggy when we preview it uh, in Vegas uh, because of Fraps. Fraps is huge file sizes and, and the same with DxTory and Bandicam, but whatever. So let me try to have a look at it again. So I'm going to scroll through it. You can see here it goes by frame, right? You can kind of notice there's something going on here. Let's go a little more. Oh, there you go. Oh, that looks terrible, right? Let's see if it gets worse. See, there it gets back to normal again. So the these are not. Yeah, see, oh, that's terrible right there. That's just terrible. That's ghosting, guys. That's ghosting. And um, yeah, that's not nice to have in your videos, right? <laughs> and you want to get rid of it. If you've, if you've tuned into this video, you probably have had ghosting on your videos and you're like, how do I get rid of it? Please get to the point, dude. Making these tutorials, get to the point. I will do that right away. There's a few ways you can get around it. And, and not, uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a few ways to get around it, but it's not a one trick thing. It, there has to be, sometimes you have to do different things to, to get rid of it. it. It, yeah. But let me show you a few ways to get around it and let's see if we can get rid of it. So you click on the uh, blue button up here that says project video properties and click on that. And then um, what you can do is you can, you have to make sure because this is set to upper field, uh, the field order, basically from what I've understood as well. These two images that, that create one frame are called field. So there's an upper and a lower field. That's at least from what I've understood. So there's all the technical terms for you right there as to what is ghosting. But you need to make sure that your project settings are set according to your recorded files. So in this case, this is a 3D render, so I'm not sure I can actually get it, but I can get my vlog files. So this, this is supposed to be for my vlogs. So I can click on a blog file right here and then click apply. See, now I changed it to non-progressive scan and I do my vlogs in, in 720p but and in 25 frames per second, but whatever. Just click apply to that and okay. See, that sort of kind of looks like that fixed it, but it didn't. See, it's still there. It's still there, but it can, in some cases, remove it. Now, there's more things we can do. So let's go back in here and have a look at it. In some cases, it, it can be the uh, the interlaced method here that you have to change. So uh, if that's set to none, you can try blending uh, blend fields. 
click apply and okay. And that really didn't, no, that didn't fix it at all. Not at all. So go back in here and then you can change it to the, uh, the lower one, which is called, I don't know if I can pronounce this right. Uh, interpolate, interpolate fields or something like that. Interpolate, interpolate fields. That's probably what it's called. I'm not sure. You can change it to that and then click apply and okay. And see that didn't really fix anything for us either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it back to none. So now that we've checked out these two and that didn't sort it. Well, now we know how not to fix it with this certain thing at least. So we click apply and okay. And we're back to square one again, except for the fact that we've matched it up with the, um, with the uh, non-progressive scan up here. But what you can do instead of that is simply right click on a file. And I still recommend everyone use this in, on your, t if you make 1080, 1080p videos, use this on all your game videos. Okay. On your clips, on your video, on your, your game footage, right click on it and go into switches and disable resample. Oh my God, what just happened guys? What just happened? Did we totally just get rid of the, uh, the ghosting? I think we did. See, that's how you get rid of it guys. Sometimes it's not only the, the, the disable resample that fixes the, uh, the ghosting. Sometimes you actually have to go in and, and change the, uh, the interlaced method and blend the fields or whatever. But yeah, that's how you get rid of it, guys. That's how you get rid of it. But yeah, like I said, 1080p videos, start using the disable resample, guys. If you've noticed as well that you have small, I wouldn't call it pixelation, but pixel grains in your, in your videos, start using the disable resample. That'll get ri rid of the, the pixel grains altogether. And your videos will come out even cr more crisp than before. But, uh, but yeah, in this case, with this 3D render, it was disable resample that fixed it. That might not be the case every time though. That might not be the case. So sometimes you might have to toy around with the uh, the interlaced method. But also make sure, very, very important that you match media settings. If, if you're unsure if your footage is in non-progressive scan or whatever it is, match it, click on it. I'll even go and click on some game footage on my E-Drive, War for Cybertron. There you go, now just change it to 1080p and non-progressive scan. So it basically just told me that, hey, I know that this recorded footage is in non-progressive scan and it's in 1080p and it's in 30 frames per second. Then I can just click apply and okay to that. And there you go. That's a very good, uh, good way to, to match up because as you can see that the, the, the project settings up here, if they are the cause of ghosting, it will show in your videos. It's as simple as that. So it's, it's a good idea to make sure that these settings match your recorded footage. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Thanks a lot for watching. If this helped you out, click like down below and share it with your friends. Leave me a comment, okay? And then, you know, yeah, that's it for this video. So take care, have fun, see you all in the next one.